With Blender Geometry Nodes and Asset Browser getting popular by day, more and more creators are gravitating towards building add-ons and also tools based off these two. And today we're going to take a look at some of the brand new Blender add-ons and Geometry Node tools that have been released within the week. And these tools might just change how you create your next project. And if you're thinking about making super dimensional 3D models in Blender, then you've got to check out the Fractal Machine. We've all seen the use of complex geometry shapes with fractional dimension extensively used in lots of blockbuster movies. And with the Fractal Machine, Blender users can now turn simple shapes into complex mystical environments. This is a geometry node project and this offers a good number of presets and of course some tweakable assets that you can work with. Currently, this contains 5 tweakable base fractals and 20 presets that can offer an endless number of shapes and you can tweak the parameters to your heart content. This is currently available for Blender 3.3 and for those who would like to take a look at this, probably you want to start creating some multi-dimensional, fractional looking 3D models, then the fractal machine is right here for you. We all love it when we can cut down on computational memory without sacrificing so much, especially when the level of detail required at the given time isn't of priority and this is where the Instant Impostor comes in. Instant Impostor is a Blender add-on that automatically converts any mesh into an optimized low-poly Impostor. This would massively increase performance in light-scale scenes and using advanced shader-based rendering, the Impostors display a detailed representation of the original mesh. And using 3D parallax, self-shadowing and translucency to further replicate the detail of the original object, one would not be able to distinguish between what you have with imposters and the original object, especially when you're dealing with a large scene and you need to populate them with vegetations. And if you've ever wanted to bring realistic shadow effects to your shots, then Gobo Light Texture version 2 has been updated to allow you achieve just that. Gobo Light Texture is a library of textures to generate ultra-realistic shadows in your scenes. Now updated for better performance and support for Blender 3.3, you can't go wrong with this. Gobo Light Textures version 2 now brings a more inclusive set of light textures to your 3D scenes, from smoke, dust, rain, cloud, all the way to colored textures, artists can now select from the newly added 45 new gobos plus 5 additionally new animated categories to light their scene how they choose. So next time you think about lighting your next shot and creating ultra realistic shadows, Gobo Light Texture version 2 is right here for you and you may want to get it right now. Tijimata has created and released the Sci-Fi Hologram Interface Template. This offers a good number of UI graphical animation all the way to little blinking light. This is good for those who are thinking about incorporating holographic effects into their 3D scenes as you can use this to create custom holographic procedural effect. This comes with 27 procedural generators which includes codes, numbers and different forms of graphical elements. It is also worth mentioning that once you get this, you will be able to have access to 65 rendered elements which you can use in After Effects. So if you've been thinking about where you can get holographic interface tools which are super procedural that you can use the sci-fi hologram interface template is here yeah, and we've talked about this on the channel before when it was available for free and it's very interesting to see that Blenderiz has released the version 4 of his off-road rig generator. This is a procedural geometry node add-on that automates car rigging setup easily with just the click of a button. The navigation and how this car gets to transform from one point to another in terms of animation is based off a single curve control which can be tweaked at any point in time. This new add-on is packed with some awesome features like drifting controls, automated wheel turning and rotation, adjustable and automated leaning on tight corners and a whole lot more. And if this sounds interesting to you and potentially you got this when it was free, then you can go over to Gumroad and update the version that you have. But for sure if you just want to get this on Blender Market, you can of course do that as well. IVs are always interesting plants to look at, especially when they are on surfaces. And the new IV pen from Ignacio makes creating IVs as easy as stroking a pen on a given surface. This comes in as a geometry node tool that offers a nice set of parameters that allows users to control specific parts of the IV that has been generated. So once you draw an IV on a given surface, users can control the density of the branches, leaves, extension, and so on and so forth. Currently available for Blender 3.3 and on the Blender market, Blender artists can now get this for a specific price to help the developer create even more useful tools or go over to Gumroad where they can get it for free. 
Baking method in Cycles is cool and straight to the point, but when it involves baking dozens of maps or PBR based maps, this becomes a struggle. And this is why we're looking at the Bake Master add-on. The Bake Master add-on created by Klemper Art makes baking in Blender an easy breeze. This add-on was built on Blender Python's API and uses the native Blender baking operator for baking PBR maps, default Blender Cycles map and special mask maps. Some other features that comes with this includes the real-time map preview, packaging, fully customizable map bakes, the noising of big maps, big to you dim tiles, and a whole lot more. The awesome thing about the Big Master is that you can now bake dozens of maps without losing precious time and you won't have to worry about loads again. So if you're thinking about baking multiple things at the same time or possibly you're thinking about baking PBR maps, then you might want to take a look at the Big Master add-on. Surface Painter is a simple yet powerful add-on that allows you quickly add colored basic materials to your object in no time. Users can choose what area of the surface they would like to paint and this includes single faces, edges, all the way down to an entire object. You can pick from one of the 75 colors that exist within the default color palette to paint your object and tweak the material settings via the end panel without the need of fiddling with notes. With 27 different procedural material options for the most common tasks like car painting, varnishes, plasters, you have a good chance of using Using the material that you want with a set of colors to create an interesting material or add that final gorgeous look to your asset. The folks at GTEC Design have released Element X. Element X is a procedural geometry node add-on for creating sci-fi elements that can be used anywhere in your scene or on an object. And this add-on comes with 21 different set of presets and an available panel which makes material edition and animation super easy. This is a must-have for anyone who is thinking about working with sci-fi effects or would like to explore areas like that. We've talked about a couple of tools that deals with sci-fi and also blockbuster movies, so if you're thinking about doing something like this or incorporating these tools into your next animation piece, then links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check them out. Quick Snap is a free Blender add-on that allows you to quickly snap objects, vertices, points to object origins, vertices, and point by simply picking the source and the destination point similar to how you do this in Maya and 3D Studio Max. Some of the features that you get with this include snapping from and to vertices, curve points, object origin, scene cursor, and so much more. Now for anyone who like to get this, originally the creator made this for free, but right now on Blender Market you can get this for $0.80 and I believe this is to help support the Blender Foundation and also support the creator. But for sure if you want to totally get this for free, you can simply go over to his GitHub where you'll be able to get this add-on for free and start working with it. CG Blender, previously known as Sofane, has released the brand new Blender Tune add-on. The Blender Tune add-on allows you to create and also apply cartoon comic style materials on your 3D models. This comes with a good number of materials that you can use and for anyone who likes to get this right now, you can either pay $10 to get it or you can totally get it for free by simply following a couple of steps that he has on his page. Furthermore, he has also released the Rockline add-on, which you can also get for free, and there is also the previously known Neon Text add-on that he also made. Something else to keep in mind is if you like to get all 20 of his add-ons, you can simply get all of them at once by purchasing the Ultimate Value Pack, and this includes some procedural materials, procedural generators, and some other tools that he has created over time. And that's about it. For those who would like to take a look at any of this that we've just mentioned and more that we're going to put in the description, then links to those are going to be down there. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this ones in the comment section. And if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.